Prime Minister Narendra Modi tried his hand in flying a drone at the inauguration of the two-day Bharat Drone Mahotsav in New Delhi. The two-day Drone Mahotsav is the biggest drone festival in the country. Superstar Shah Rukh Khan's son Aryan Khan was today cleared of all charges in the drugs case over which he spent 22 days in a Mumbai jail last year. At least 7 army soldiers died in a major road accident in the Turtuk sector of Ladakh. According to the sources, a bus carrying 26 soldiers fell into the river in which the soldiers lost their lives and several other troops sustained grievous injuries. A Delhi court awarded 4 years imprisonment to former Haryana Chief Minister Om Prakash Chautala for amassing assets more than his income. China accused US Secretary of State Antony Blinken of smearing the country and exaggerating the China threat after the top American diplomat said Beijing was undermining global order. Police in Toronto in Canada shot dead an unidentified person armed with a rifle in an incident that caused four schools in the vicinity to go into lockdown days after a shooter in the neighboring US shot dead 21 people in an elementary school. Chinese Premier Li Keqiang warned of dire consequences if officials don't move decisively to prevent the economy from sliding further, saying a contraction in the second quarter must be avoided. The Taliban rejected the UN Security Council's call to reverse heavy restrictions imposed on Afghan women, dismissing their concern as unfounded. The makers of Akshay Kumar's starer Prithvi Raj have changed the film's name after facing criticism from Sri Rajput Karni Sena, a Rajasthan-based organization that had previously disrupted the release of the 2018 film Padmavat. Royal Challengers Bangalore take on inaugural champions Rajasthan Royals in qualifier 2. The winning team will face debutants Gujarat Titans in Sunday's final.